to take a look with you at the castings I made. Um, I made a video about this aluminium casting, which you you can click now here to to see this video. So let's look at the results. Um, first, um, I had this little uh, I think it's a um, pancake pan or something like that. I thought it had a nice shape, it's fun, so let's try it out. So, it didn't work out very well. Um, as you can see right here on the side, um, I spilled aluminium and I did what I, what I can, but I can't get it loose. Um, even when I knew I had to, to destroy the mold, uh, I just can't get it out of it. So you can see there this layer separated so I don't really know what material this is but yeah I just consider it wasted so but along with that I made some cupcakes uh, three of them so they look very very nice and they turned out really well so if we look at the undershade this one actually looks a bit rough but I tried and if you polish it up some it looks yeah, quite good it's a bit uh, rough on the outside and on the other side you can see some tiny holes and so yeah if you polish them up they're really nice and so yeah but then I decided to cut one in half to see how the inside is and I did it at school with a big circular saw. So, nah. And as you can see, there are quite some holes in that. So, yeah, not very good to machine into something or turn. Or, as you can see, there are quite. Come on, focus. There are quite some holes in that. So, yeah. Not, not as good as I thought it would be. But then, in my second casting, I made this big chunk of aluminium, which I also cut in half. And if we look at that one, that's better. Um, this one was sandblasted to see if we could get uh, the surface, can see the surface better. And as you can see there is also some pitting in there but not as as bad as the previous ingot and actually this one is quite good you could uh, machine something useful out of this so but on the other side it has a really strange big hole in here I think it's from the um, from the coating that um, that burned off that formed some gas bells so yeah I don't know the round circles you see in there is from the wire burst so but it's a really strange big hole so maybe that's from the yeah anti stick coating or something like that so yeah this one is actually quite nice So and then we have the third casting. Um, this one uh, actually failed. Um, the aluminium wasn't uh, liquid enough, so uh, this is only a tiny part. The rest of it was just not good. So I poured it into this um, cylinder, stainless steel cylinder, and I cut the bottom off to to get it out because it was stuck in there but it's not bad actually it's a bit rough but maybe I could machine something out of this but it's a bit small so but my idea was if I if I cast a whole cylinder of this um, that would make a really nice big bar of aluminium that you could machine into yeah anything you like um, if you have any su suggestions what I could make, it would be nice. So, 
But if we look at the differences in these ingots, um, this one was actually quite good, and this one had too many air bubbles in it. So um, this is for my first casting, and there I I didn't use uh, the salt as a flux, and I don't know if I used a uh, soda to degas it, but I think this one was just better. Maybe it was hotter, or I don't really know what was the difference between those two pores, but this one is definitely better. So, yeah. This one is just really bad. It's not very useful, so I'll remail that, I think, later. And so, yeah. So I made these aluminium ingots and things um, with the aluminium profiles I had. Um, the problem with uh, the dirt melt not turning into a full liquid is most likely um, I use I used uh, aluminium extruded profiles for that. Those profiles are anodized most likely, so that gives a lot of aluminium oxi oxide. So I have to screw. I have to get a lot of that out of my molten aluminium, so maybe if I skim all that off it will be better, but it's quite some, so I will look to use other sources of aluminium in the future, so hopefully my castings will be a better quality. So if you have any tips or tricks or what I can do better or Anything you'd like, um, please post it in the comments. So, um, hopefully, my next casting will be a bit better, but I'm very happy with the results I get now. So, thanks for watching.